hey what's up everyone and happy new years today i'm going to be showing y'all how to overclock the xeon w3690 cpu all right and by the way i'm using a program called throttle stop it's available and it is free to download um, i will put in the link for y'all so you don't have to go searching for it or anything so i will do that for y'all all right um this is my first time trying it out so I don't know too much about some of the features on here but from playing around with it for like a, maybe a day or two um, what I realize or what I notice this program allows you to overclock and undervolt your um, your CPU and there's also a feature where you can do it for the GPU but I haven't figured that out yet but once I do I will make a video on that alright but today I'm just gonna focus on overclocking the W3690 CPU okay so um, if you have the program already just open it up and press this where it says turn on the turn on option and next you're going to go to where it says TRL not these just TRL and just going to come up with this and it's going to give you different profiles and stuff don't worry about that and you're going to come down to here all right and again this is only for people who have the Xeon W3690 I believe it works for the other the later CPUs I haven't tried it out like the W3680 um, and down I believe it works for those two and any other CPUs yeah but anyway um like I said you're gonna go to where it says TRL you open it up and from it and what you before you do anything do it by increments I made the biggest mistake by going for example from 28 to 34 just just 28 to 34 and I ended up getting the blue screen so don't do that alright um, so as you can see right now my video I will show you right now my uh, current clock speed is uh, is 3.4 gigahertz and I get a turbo boost of 3.7 so stock speed 3.4 and turbo boost 3.7 so I'm gonna going to attempt to well but yet I did it earlier I was able to get up to 4.0 but I'm gonna show you how to do it all right, so let's see. So right now, um, yeah, we could do this profile, I guess. And make sure you change all of them. Make sure they all have the same number for this to work. All right, so let's try 29. And it should go up to like 3.8. Let's see. Let's stress the CPU and as you can see it's at 3.8 gigahertz let's go up again 3. Point, I mean 30 make sure all the numbers are the same and apply and it should have changed and as you can see it's at 4. Point, about 4.0 gigahertz all right and it's getting pretty hot as you can see so that's how you overclock it it's, it's really easy I don't recommend going at 4. Point, um, 4.0 gigahertz unless you have you know a good um, CPU CPU cooler which I'm actually going to buy this is a HP liquid cooling heat sink so I'm actually thinking about thinking of getting this and hoping it um, it allows me I'm hoping it allows me to you know reach that certain clock speed 
so I'm definitely going to purchase this and yeah and that's the name of it again it's a HP liquid cooling heat sink module for the HP Z400 all right um, so that's how you overclock it it's really easy and um, it's not that hard to do um, yeah and again the name of the program is called throttle stop and I will put it in the link for y'all and yeah alright guys thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or you can even email me alright alright guys peace